Oh my god. I love it. I love the angle they're going wow. for. Wow. Uh, that makes me horny. <laughs> Hi there, everybody. Welcome to 127 Re Reacts, where we react to trailers every Monday and Wednesday. Today, we are reacting to the Netflix trailer for Plond, the Marilyn Monroe biopic uh, with Anna de Armas. I'm Jeff, and I'm joined by Alex, Anakin, and Dominic. Oh. Ooh. Oh my god, we just made we just made the most sus hand signs ever. Oh here, let me finish ah. it off. <laughs> so we are gonna give our pre-thoughts on this film. We're gonna watch the trailer. We're each gonna give our own number to this film, and then that number will be compiled to our overall number for the studio at the end. So stay tuned for that, please. Uh Dominic, what are we thinking? I literally knew nothing about this film when you told us we were going to react to it. I saw from the thumbnail that it had Ana de Armas, whom I love, especially in uh, Knives Out. And yeah, when you just said it was a Marilyn Monroe biopic, I was just like, oh, okay, cool. And that's about all I know. Based on this still, I don't know if the movie's in black and white or if it's going to be in color, but I like me a good black and white film. So excited to see the trailer. I'm not sure if it's all in black and white because I've seen oh, a lot okay. of still photos recreating like famous Marilyn Monroe photos and some of them were in color. So I'm not sure about that. So maybe this is like a film that Marilyn is starring in in the biopic. Type maybe. Thing. Okay. I'm excited. Anna can go next. I The only thing I know about this movie is that Anna Jarmus is playing as Marilyn Monroe and that it's on Netflix I did see some, or I had heard about this movie for a while. I think there was like back then those rumors that Anna de Armas was gonna play Marilyn Monroe, and I wasn't sure how I felt about that, just cause like I don't know, I didn't, I couldn't visualize it. But then some photos got leaked, some stills from the set, I think. Well, they didn't get leaked; they just got like published, and she looked really good as Marilyn, like fucking like one to one, like a clone of Marilyn Monroe. So I think it's it's so far it's already going to be fantastic. It's like perfect casting so far in terms of like Marilyn. I don't know who else is going to be in the movie. Hope we get some JFK, you know. If you, if you know, you know. Okay, go Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I saw those images as well. They looked pretty identical. Like if you had them side by side, it was kind of difficult to tell. You had to double look. You couldn't just be like, oh, that's the... It, it was pretty well done. Uh, I don't know much about Marilyn Monroe other than the JFK stuff and especially the conspiracies around her death, how she was like murdered by the CIA or something like that because she, she was told something that shouldn't have been known. A lot of people are like, oh, it's alien disclosure, whatever. So I'm wondering if like her end of life area is going to be in this film. I think that would be really interesting to see. Uh, but like I said, I don't know too much about her. Uh, so I'm really interested to see what this is and how it goes. Yeah, I, I know absolutely nothing. Just learning about it to you guys right now. I don't even know. I don't even know shit about Marilyn Monroe. I just know the JFK stuff. And then she made a lot of, you know, boomers choke their chicken for showing her knees. Stuff like that. So... <laughs> I don't know. Was she like the first person to show her kneecaps? A lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of bodily fluids spilt over her, and I didn't even know she was like killed, or if that's if that's what it is. I mean, I, we I don't. don't know. No theory. one knows. I don't. Even, I don't even know how her death was like. What's like the? the I also don't know. I just like know what's like it the was newspaper like, version. Like did it, she just die was, of natural causes? Like it, what's like the. I majority. think the newspaper version was she was it was either an overdose or a suicide or something like that. Mm, I thought it was like an overdose. Yeah. Uh, I, I I just don't know shit. I just know she stood over a vent and wind blew up. And she was in that address. uh that movie. I don't know. I don't even know if she's in a movie. Is she an actress? Um She acted she in two in movies. That, she was in that one comedy one. Ah, uh, where the two men dress as women. Oh, white chicks. No. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't matter. I say let's start the trailer. All right, let's do it. 
She was like the OG OnlyFans model. Ooh. Ooh. Fantastic. Oh, damn. She was like a superstar. Oh, yeah. Monstro. Ooh. Oh, I like that guy. Oh, who's going to go by oh. the horse? I like it. <clears throat> I guess I was discovered. I know you're supposed to get used to it. But I just can't. Oh, nice. Brody? Adrian yes, Brody. What? Man is old. <laughs> Nut. <laughs> Some cool shots in this. Whoa. Oh my god. I love it. I love the angle they're going wow. for. Wow. NC-17. That's a weird rating I haven't seen in a while. That, that makes me horny. Yeah, you're a boomer now. <laughs> happy. The trailer made me sad. <laughs> it makes, it makes me happy. It makes me happy. Yeah, that, it did make me sad, too. Man, can't wait to see the kneecaps. Let's go. <laughs> All right, who's going first? Me and Dom are sad over here, and Alex is horny. <laughs> I definitely think we're going to get that darker angle of her decline. That's definitely what this trailer shows. Uh, I think it's going to go to some dark places. I'm thoroughly interested to see where it goes. I liked the cinematography. I liked the hop back and forth between black and white to the other types of tones. It was almost like they were changing camera types as the time periods went on, which I think is interesting, or different camera types for different parts of her story. I'm really interested to see where this goes. It looks really well made and like i said it looks like it's going to be a really emotional story i don't know how true to the real life it'll be but 8.5 for me for sure nice. I'll, I'll watch it yeah and i'm not a biopic guy so you're not a bionicle Damn. no mm. he's not a toa um shame on matanui <laughs> all right i'll go yeah it's uh I don't know, it was intriguing seeing like the elegant side of it and then you're throwing a dark a darker tone on it. I feel like that duality works really well most of the time. The last thing I remember it did that was like Black Swan. You're taking something elegant that everyone views as like, you know, beautiful and then you just throw in you put in the whole foundation as some dark undertone. I never saw Black Swan, but I know everyone liked it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, she she looks she looks beautiful in it. Black and white. The change from black and white to color is really cool. It looks like a lot of time and care was put into um, all aspects of the movie, not just the writing or the story, but like you know from the technical side of it as well. Uh, will I watch it? Maybe. Probably not. It's definitely giving you know Kesha, Britney Spears vibes. The pattern never stops, you guys. Man, it's so sad. Anyways, I give it a seven point eight for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> no i'm feeling a 7.8 i'm feeling 7.8 bastard i loved it a little bit more than our last one now i'm you going yeah i i legitimately got like really sad watching that trailer like i know anna de armas is just is merely playing marilyn monroe but like to think that this person who like has become such an icon like throughout the decades like was just harboring this like darkness and emptiness inside of her and like no matter whom she like reached out to about it like it was so like oh well you still gotta look pretty and you know gotta just move deal with it and move on so just to get that emotion i think from the trailer alone i think definitely 
change my expectations of this film. I kind of just figured it'd be like a typical biopic where it's like, oh, she gets like the happy ending and it's like it touches on the on the sadness of her life, but like not too much. But this seems to just go all in on just Marilyn's struggle. So this is now my radar and I will probably definitely watch it. I'm going to have to give it a nine. I'm really jazzed about this now. Wait, how do you get a happy ending from her story, though? No, but like in biopics where it's just kind of like it it ends on like the light note. Yeah. And then, then it on. fades and there's like text and then she dies. Yeah. <laughs> Blind. That was a pretty awesome trailer. Um, like Dominic said, it, it went down like the tragic route, which I definitely I definitely uh, expected because like all the stuff I, I have heard about Marilyn Monroe in the, in the past it's uh it has been like tragic stuff and this is definitely like i think the right angle for them to take this biopic if they wanted to do it seriously and do it well and you know do her as a person justice i think it's important for this movie actually to go that route because uh you know i feel like a lot of people remember the flashy side of, of her and not like her as a person which i feel like this trailer is definitely trying to angle towards it it looks the cinematography looks beautiful like it just it looks really clean like alex was saying during the trailer i like i like a lot of the shots some of the angles are cool and then switching between black and white it's also i think very uh interesting i'll uh i'll i'll bring balance to the force i'll give this a well currently we're at a 25.3 so uh, i'll even it out i'll give it a uh i'll give it an 8.7 I evened it out, Dom. What do you mean? Shut up. Just shut up. That's a great score. <laughs> and our total score is 8.5. You're welcome, Dom. <laughs> Thanks. Mad at it. I like it. All right, guys. You heard it here at 127 Studios. Blonde, the Marilyn Monroe biopic, gets an 8.5 from us. Are you going to watch it? Yeah, comment. Comment some things in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Uh, share this video with your friends. Click a video over there uh, that's suggested for you. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. We're taking suggestions at this point. Tell us what you want us to react to. <laughs> yeah. Do you want us to show our kneecaps? Mm. You guys want us to talk about CIA conspiracy theories and how they assassinated JFK and Marilyn Monroe and how they're covering up UFOs? We could do that on as a podcast episode, just saying. Do you want us how to the Bay of Pigs didn't really have pigs? To break your Nico Nico kneecaps? <laughs> also, do you think Jared Leto could have pulled this off? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right, we're done.